Hey, Ryan from Modular Racks here. Wanted to do a quick review on a product that is not um, roof rack or cargo carrying specific, um, but is very cool, so I wanted to show you guys, and that's this, the Claymore Heady Plus. We now have the Claymore lineup of lights in our store and on our website, and I've got a chance to use this in a bunch of scenarios, and I just thought it was worth a review because I have two other headlamps here. Um, this guy from Home Depot and this guy here. This one's rated at 300 lumens. This one at 195. What I found with this guy is he's decent. He's okay. But this one at 195, it just seems brighter to me. And, and you can focus the beam, but even on wide beam, it seems brighter. And so this one's rated at 600 lumen. Well, what does lumen mean? Obviously, we all know that, I think. And if you don't, you can Google it. Um, but people might fudge those numbers because I, I buy off lumen and I'm not always impressed. With this guy, I'm thoroughly impressed. So what I want to do is this evening, I want to come back out here and with my GoPro on, I want to try turning these on in the forest and just see if you can see the difference between lighting on them and hopefully it'll make the difference. Um, but in the meantime, two things about these lights too, um, batteries are always dead. And the Home Depot one here, uh, I find that the one battery out of the three is dead and the other two are okay, but I almost got to toss them all and put new batteries in. It's wasteful, not great for the environment, and I never seem to have the light when I want it. Claymore here, this is lithium. So it's chargeable, rechargeable with a little USB. Seems to last forever. I never have actually killed this thing, but I do plug it in occasionally and it's just always good to go. Um, a couple of things that it does over the other headlights is this, which is really cool. This is like an area light. I use that for walking around all the time just because it gives you full peripheral vision of everything you want to see rather than like a focused beam that lights up right in front of you, but maybe not everything you want to see, your peripheral vision. Um, plus it's got this little threaded uh, tripod mount, which is great if you've got a little tiny tripod uh, or a big one that you want to put this on at your work site, at your campsite, you know, wherever it is, just to light things up. and it does a great job like that will light your entire campsite up and it does do um, a flood kind of spot and then a full spot and then dual this is your 600 lumens this is what I have been using it for for mountain biking at night and I'm telling you I need no more light than what this thing puts out to basically charge any trail at night it's brilliant um, so this is around 80 or 90 bucks those other two I showed you are around 50 bucks it's my opinion that for 40 bucks or so, 50 bucks more, this light is so much better and it's the only headlamp you're ever gonna need, unless you want two. So you've got one for two vehicles or in your campsite, but uh, it's light too. Compared to these other guys, it looks big. I think this thing only weighs like 100 grams. What I'm gonna do here, I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, we're here in the dark and I'm gonna put a GoPro on my head. I'm going to shine them out into the darkness and see the difference between them and this Claymore Heavy uh, Plus. Because um, we can talk lumens and all that other good stuff, but hopefully a video might show the actual difference. So uh, let's give that a go. I think we're recording. So let's shut that off. Here we are in the black. We are going to start with the Black Diamond uh, headlamp. Certainly pretty good. I mean, there's no shame in that headlight whatsoever so now let's switch out to the i guess it's kind of a home depot one um i can't remember the name brand of it it's more of a spotlight this one's definitely brighter you can aim it in and get a pretty darn good spot out of it like that's a good bright light and then final one is going to be our claymore here now Let's hit that Claymore. This has a few modes. The first mode is this one. This is a floodlight mode. It has different colors. It also has a spot and then a dual spot. So there's the dual spot. Now what I find about this one is that you get really good far, but you also get a really good flood. So I use this again for mountain biking and it works great. Um, for just lighting up the path wherever I'm looking incredibly well. Um, so this is back to the flood. Let's make sure this is on. If you can dim it, that's the lowest setting. And that's the brightest setting. 
This is actually really a cool setting and the one I actually use for walking around with most often. Um, just because it said shed such a nice natural light. Uh, it does have different colors. If I can remember how to work it, there's more of a white and there's pure like 65K. Back to our single spot, or I guess flood spot, full spot, and then the dual. So this is the Claymore Heady Plus and we have it on our website and in store. If you have any questions, comment below or reach out to us. Loving this and uh, holiday season's coming up. Thanks for watching, Ryan.